The impact of the Maui fires is ongoing, but Montanans are showing aloha in a very special way. We've lived on Maui for 17 years, and we just happened to come over at this time, the past 10 days, and about three days into our trip is when uh, we heard about the fires. Tia Walls and her husband Zeb have lived on Maui for 17 years, but Tia was born and raised in Great Falls. They were here visiting when they heard the news of the wildfires and knew they could find a way to help Maui from Montana. I put my Venmo up and I have over about $4,000 in Venmo. And so we just knew that the supplies were in Montana, that the supplies were not in Maui, and we could get the supplies from Montana to Maui. From diapers and wipes to insulin needles and Advil, the walls are using the donation money to gather all the necessary supplies to take back with them to help their community in Maui. Just things that, you know, small things that people need for day-to-day -day living that are, um, uh, you know, that they are completely running out of over there. Like the, the um, shelves are bare in most of the stores, so we're just taking, um, yeah, whatever we can. North 40 donated 23 headlamps as well as plenty of batteries for those, and Alaska Airlines waived the heavy baggage fees, which would have been about $300 more. I just think it's a real grassroots effort, and that's just what Hawaii is about. It's just about people really come together, showing a lot of aloha, and we're just happy to be a part of that. This is going to be a very, very long process. We're going to be rebuilding for years. It's going to take a long time for people to rebuild their houses and you know, just have some sort of normal life. So I just wanted to just have everyone, please keep donating. I will spread everything accordingly um, and make it hopefully last. Mahalo, Montana. <laughs> if you feel led to show your support and make a donation, please go to our website for more information. In Great Falls, I'm McKenna Holman, MTN News.